Hey guys, it's Bendy Penguin 64 with some more Pokemon Diamond. In the last episode, we finished up Iron Island and got a Pokemon Egg, even though I really wanted a baby Pokemon that was already level 5, or even level 1, as long as it was already hatched, because I was hoping to use the Pokemon Gym to like get it a lot of XP so that I didn't have to worry about training it, but I'll just have to wait for that. But anyway, in this episode, we should be making some progress through the 6th gym, and that elevator moved really quickly. I forgot that the transa transition, transition, sorry. I forgot that the transition was that fast. I was thinking that it would take a lot longer, because that's what the other elevators do, you know, like the ones back in Iron Island, and of course the 5th gym. Speaking of the 5th gym, we never actually fought any uh, Pokemon trainers in there except for the gym leader, so right there, that was a lot of missed XP, but to be fair, Pingu seems to be quite over leveled against this Onyx, so yeah, I don't think I missed out on too much, so yeah, I'm not really fussed. But anyway, Helium is still, actually, should I give the XP share to someone else? Uh, Flashlight's level 38, Pingu's level 36, obviously, Flappers, I believe, is 36, and Helium is currently... I don't know, I'm not entirely sure. Hmm. I'll tell you what, after this is done, which is actually now, that's really convenient, uh, I'll just see uh, what level each Pokemon is. Uh, another Onix, in which case Pingu's perfect for this job. Uh, Helium is still the lowest, he's at level 35, which means he's only lowest by one level, but still, you know, it's it's nice to uh, share the XP, I don't know. Well, either way, that's, that, I almost said that Sonix, no, that Onix is going down really quickly. Oh god, no, no, Sonic has nothing to do with Pokemon. Unless we're referring to Super Smash Bros. Brawl, which I haven't played in ages. I really need to get back to that. I'm not sure if you heard a weird rustling noise, but there's a rather large and obnoxious stack of fabric right next to me. Because... Someone has been messing about in the room where I record and left a bunch of stuff lying around on a desk, and... That's really annoying, and okay, it looks like we need to take this one because... Yeah, right now everything else is not cooperating at all. Okay, here's some major progress, obviously. An ace has the knowledge and experience of battling at high levels. I'll demonstrate what that means to a noob like you. Oh, God, no. More, core, more Call of Duty players. I almost said Core of Duty players. No idea why. That would be a really stupid mistake, but yeah, more Call of Duty players. I haven't made that joke since, what, I got to Orberg City? And that was about, I don't know how many episodes ago, that was like episode 4, something like that. It was when I first arrived in Orberg City, I remembered someone called me a noob. Uh, but either way, uh, Pingu is actually proving to be really useful in these uh, fights right now, because uh, in episodes Prior to uh, this one, it was actually underperforming, which I was a bit concerned about. But now, he's actually proven to be really useful. To be fair, all of his moves are super effective against the Pokemon that he's facing, so that kind of helps him out a bit. But still, that's really nice. I'm not complaining about getting, like, really good damage. That's really nice. Uh, okay, all of our Pokemon are at least level 36 now. And I believe that they're all fully evolved. So, no more evolutions for a while. Uh, here we have, like, a fast-moving bridge. Uh, let's see. Let's try up. Uh, it seems that there's a lot more, like, bridges and elevators and stuff like that than there are trainers. So, you know, it seems that there's a lot of stuff here just to waste your time. I mean, trainers kind of waste time, but... You know, they also give you experience, so they're wasting time, but it's worth it, if that even makes sense. Whereas with the rogue elevators that aren't actually doing anything yet, then you're getting screwed over. Well, either way, all these battles are going by really fast. 
Uh, I don't think I'll bother cutting any of these out in that case. Uh, assuming this trend continues because so far they're only taking about a minute a piece. So, yeah. And of course if I mash the A button it could be shorter than that. Especially if they've got a small amount of Pokemon. So that's really nice. Okay, Pingu used Brine which is going to take him down in one hit. And Pingu's gaining a lot of XP from this which is really nice. And with that down goes Onyx, and there's another trainer down, I believe. Uh, I believe he only had, yep, he only had the two. A spectacular loss, but it's still a loss. Yeah, that's it. That was losing with style. Yeah, that's that's good motivation. Yeah. Don't be put down if you fail. If you fail, just flaunt it. I, I barely know what the word flaunt means, actually. I probably shouldn't be promoting words that I don't know because I'm probably giving a completely different definition. You know, to me, flaunt, flaunt sounds like show off, make the most of it or something like that, but I don't know, maybe it's actually a taboo term in some countries, I don't know. I don't know how I dipped into that subject off of a spectacular loss. Yeah. But uh, anyway, with that, Pingu is gaining some more experience, which is really nice. And Steelix. Uh, I can't actually remember what Steel is particularly weak to. I assume that Steelix is a Steel Ground type, because I know that Surf works good against Ground. Uh, for some reason, I seem to have uh, like a recollection or remembrance or something like that of Steel being connected to Fire. And I'm not sure if that's like steel is weak against fire or fire is weak against steel. I just seem to remember the two of them having some form of a connection, but I'm not entirely sure. Well, either way, Pingu is now level 37, which is really nice. That was a complete trashing. Fashion? More like trashing! Whoa! Yeah, that was a really forced reference to regular show. Oh, God. Speaking of regular show, a lot of my friends don't actually like it that much. And, I don't know, I really like regular show. I think it's one of the funniest cartoons that's currently on Cartoon Network. Uh, a lot of my friends prefer Adventure Time, and I can't deny Adventure Time is a really good cartoon. Uh, it's definitely got some good moments, and Pingu's actually not going to be too efficient here, surprisingly. That's really broken his combo. But yeah, a lot of people uh, that I know really like Adventure Time, and I'm going to switch out to Flashlight, I reckon. A lot of people I know really like Adventure Time a lot more than regular show. And I can admit that Adventure Time is good, but I don't think it's as good. Uh, I'm not sure which one has the bigger fan following... But I know that Adventure Time has become a favourite among viewers and reviewers, so, yeah. Well, I don't know, that's just my opinion. They're both really good. But anyway, enough talk about modern uh, TV shows. Let's just use a super effective move. Oh, it's okay, it's not a ground type. For a moment, I was worried it would be a water ground type. I have no idea why. Probably because it was using rollout. I think it was at least, I wasn't actually paying attention, I swear it just used a rock move. Hmm. I don't know, I wasn't actually looking at the screen. Well, either way, Flashlight is going to gain a level from that, so that is lovely. Crew to level 9, yeah. Level 9, level 39? No, I missed that out by 30 levels, what's wrong with me? But anyway, more useless Poké Dollars that I'm not going to use, and hopefully the Gym Leader... Jim Lita, Jim Lita, sorry I keep mispronouncing stuff, can't be too far, that's exactly what I was looking for. Okay, so let's see what happens here. That's Orberg's Gym Badge. Yes, I see, you've defeated... Um... I didn't even realise that, I forgot about that plot twist. Well, that's no surprise, he still has much to learn. In place of my son Roark, or Rourke, I don't know, I, Byron, will take your challenge. I didn't even realise that. Now that I actually look at Byron... Okay, I have no idea what just happened. For whatever reason, my camera stopped recording. 
I have no idea why it did that. I'm going to hope that it doesn't happen again. But for whatever reason, uh, I don't know. Uh, I think that it just cut off uh, after I talked to Byron. I think that's what happened. Uh, I don't know. I wasn't actually paying close enough attention, but I did notice that my camera stopped recording for reasons I don't understand. Apparently, this is really stupid technology. But, yeah, uh, as far as I know, I talked to Byron. Uh, he mentioned Roark. And after the little, like, animation where you, like, see an up close and personal uh, image of Byron's sprite, I believe it was a second after that happened that it cut off. I could be wrong and I'm really hoping that my recording hasn't cocked up. As in, you know, now I've suddenly lost all the footage. I'm just going to hope that this, that, yeah, I'm going to hope that it hasn't turned into a cock up because otherwise I could be in trouble and I'll have to make a substitute video explaining how I lost the footage. Yeah. Well, you know what, just in case, I'll review the footage before actually uh, saving my game and turning off the DSi. And, yeah, hopefully uh, I haven't lost too much footage and it all still plays. If it does, then that is lovely. So, yeah, hopefully that's the case because I don't feel like resetting. Okay, Bastiodon is going to go down pretty easily, assuming Flash Cannon is not the most uber-powerful move since Fissure. Or Sheer Cold, or whatever one-hit KO move you want to roll with. We're not done yet, there's no giving up. Yeah, you can say that as much as you want, it's not going to work. Because Pingu, based on that last attack, should be able to finish him off. Pingu, you rock, my man. That gym battle was actually really easy I suppose I was just using the right Pokemon overall because yeah that was extremely simple I mean Maylene was tougher than that uh, let's see uh, Baton Pass switches places with a party Pokemon in waiting passing along any stat um, I'm not really using uh, I, I don't care. Uh, I'll forget Baton Pass. Should this Pokemon give up? Yeah, give up on Baton Pass. Anyway, with that, Leader Byron is down. My sturdy Pokemon defeated. More useless Poke Dollars that I'm not going to do anything with. You were strong enough to take down my prize team of Pokemon. In recognition of that power, I give you this the Mine Badge. The Mine Badge is mine! That was a really bad pun. I'll be surprised if anyone laughed at that. Seriously? Wait, wait, wait. We couldn't use strength outside of battle before this? Didn't didn't we get strength like 20 episodes ago? If we did, then... Uh... Do I actually have strength in my bag? If I do, then... Yeah, I must have gotten it like 20 episodes ago, so... Why? Why, in the name of... I, I don't know. Why did you only give me that badge now that lets me use... Hang on. Cut, fly, surf, strength. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, all of these moves are usable now. And now we can actually use strength, apparently. Hang on. That must mean with the, that uh, we have strength puzzles coming up. So you need to push around large rocks. And if that's true... I believe that I'll need to get Rocky out of the PC. So, I think that I'm going to heal my Pokemon, that's in my best interest. And I'm also going to take Rocky out of the PC, just in case, and... Hey, that's the Mind Badge, good going. You're tough enough to consider becoming the Pokemon Champ. Of course, I'm tougher, so it's not going to actually happen. Anyways, Ben, come with me to the library. Okay, not entirely sure what that's about. Uh, is the library directly north? Uh, library, yeah. Well, first, I'm actually going to heal my Pokemon, get Rocky out the PC, and hopefully teach him strength. Actually, technically, Rocky is a girl, but I'm not too fussed. 
Yeah, I know I should be acknowledging a Pokemon's gender, but I don't really care. Unless gender seriously increases a Pokemon's stats, in which case I care a lot. A lot more than I realise. Uh, let's see, move Pokemon please. Uh, yeah, we will move Rocky into the party. Because it sounds like we're going to have some strength puzzles coming up. And just for the sake of OCD, I'm going to put you there. Uh, yeah, we're not using Egghead at all. I just... Yeah, I just took that egg because I felt like it. I don't know. So, yeah, uh, let's see. Bag. Uh, I'm going to hope that Rocky can learn Strength. Because otherwise, I'll probably need to find another Pokemon. Oh, hello. What do you mean? Wait, oh yeah, it also knows Rock Smash. Uh, well, definitely get rid of Mud Sport because that is a crappy, crappy move. So, Rocky forgot Mud Sport and learned Strength. That is lovely. So anyway, now it looks like we should be heading down to Canalave Library. But I'm actually thinking that before I do that, I'm going to end this video. So, thanks for watching, and next time on Pokemon Diamond, we will be going into the Canalave Library, and I'm not sure what happens after that, but I believe we should be going to the 7th Gym. That or doing something else, I can't really remember, but either way, start of the next video, Canalave Library. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.